Not only is it a nonprofit's largest volunteer event, but it's also their largest art installation. A display of more than 15,000 square feet of handmade blankets was made to raise awareness about homelessness. This effort was sponsored by the Charles Bruce Foundation. Pat LaMarche is the founder of this Memorial Blanket Project, and she is back with us. And as we talked in our last half hour, homelessness, calling attention to homelessness is just your big passion. Yeah. And this project, while it wound up in Washington, D.C., this began in Carlisle. How? Yeah, I was actually asked to speak at a graduation. You know, there's this preconceived sort of notion for some folks that if we just taught people to manage their money better, they survive better and there are some pennies that are so few that you can't stretch them far enough to survive. So I was m sort of mistakenly asked to speak at this graduation <laughs> of, these, of these people and I, and I just gave them a lecture on poverty and I said, you know, someone on permanent disability with all of these disabilities is never going to have enough money to $900 a month and won't pay rent. Yeah. So when I was leaving, one of the women uh, said to me, you know, I'd just be really happy if they just let me crochet all day. And I was walking home from this graduation. I thought, well, there's got to be a way I can let her crochet all day. That's Aww. not much to ask, is it? <laughs> oh, my gosh. So I, can, I said, well, I'm always trying to do something for Homeless Remembrance Night. Let's make blankets. And I put it out into the universe of nice people. And I had no idea what we'd get. And that, that was in June. And that December, we put 217 blankets on the Lutheran Church walkway and we had 17 area agencies there to talk about homelessness and how people can help them help people and we had a little homeless village and it was exhausting it was freezing cold you folks were out there you know it was so cold and everyone said you gotta do this next year and i said i will if i can do it on the west lawn of the u.s capitol like an idiot <laughs> no <laughs> the stupidest thing not I ever said. at all because <laughs> what a display that was yeah. It was like being in magic. It was, it, it was thousands, you know, thousands of people hand making. Every blanket was handmade and driven by some states. Maine, Massachusetts drove down hundreds of blankets. South Carolina drove up their blankets. People came from Florida, Wisconsin, Illinois, Indiana, bringing blankets, and then they were shipped in from all over. And Pennsylvania was probably 400 of the blankets, wow. you know. So we had help from so many people you know just so many different people Th thousands of people involved for absolutely no benefit except to make a statement and know that their handmade blanket that night or within a few more hours would be in the hands of someone in need okay that was my next question and the blankets went on to help somebody of course right um so where does the project go from here? <laughs> I mean, are you doing it again? Is this an annual thing? Um, well, we want to, we're morphing it. And actually this is the month where we're kind of unveiling what we're doing, but every quarter, because we did that on the 21st of December, which is Homeless Remembrance Night. So every quarter we're going to do something special in a different state. So it's still going to be a national event. Mm -hmm. um, the main organizers kind of hosey June 21st because it's warm. <laughs> <laughs> and so we're going to be up in Maine in June. We'll be in South Carolina in September. We'll be back in Pennsylvania for December. And so we're just going to do state by state and just take our blankets on the road and do a special thing to, to just raise awareness. I believe South Carolina is a diaper drive because, oh, you know, we need to. Oh, that's terrific. Yeah. yeah. So we'll have, we'll have some handmade blankets, but the point will be to say babies are experiencing homelessness. For sure. Right? Wow. What a statement. It's such a visual statement. You can't help but stop, look, and learn. So yeah. you're doing a great job with this. Thank you so Thanks. much. Come back and tell us more about it. I will. Well, it appears that more than half of Americans age 21 or older are not getting the cancer screenings that they should or can. Coming up next, why is that and what can be done to encourage them to do so? We'll also have resources to learn more about the screenings that are needed. We'll be right back.